Well, counting to five, then ten wasn't too much of a stretch when we were introduced to maths at our foundation stage. However, according to experts, mathematics in South Africa is in crisis. This comes after the release of the 2021 metric results, and stats do reveal that fewer than 260,000 of the one million learners who started school in 2010 wrote mathematics in 2021. So less than 8,000 pupils passed with distinction. Let's speak now to Professor Nikki Roberts from the Department of Childhood Education at the University of Johannesburg to discuss this matter even further. Prof, thank you for your time and good yes. morning to you. Morning. Surely there's a crisis. Gareth admitting to dropping mathematics sometime in his high school. I had to drop mathematics for mathematical literacy. So clearly we are one of the many that had to take that decision. But sure. what is the stat telling us about, you know, the decision around either pupils dropping mathematics or failing in maths? So I think a crisis is a strong word because I think it loses the overall picture that we're actually improving. So even though mm. we're improving off a really low base, our mathematics is improving. And we see that both in the TIM study, Trends in Mathematics and Science study, where our grade nine learners are performing, we improving pretty much faster than any other country in the world. Mm. So we're at um, the improvement trajectory that any other country has improved at, um, which is really positive. So we are improving in relation to TIMS and in relation to NSC results. So we're getting better quality passes in mathematics. Right. But the situation of you and Gareth is where we've got the real problem. So we have increasing numbers of learners taking maths literacy rather than mathematics. Mm. I like to put that into perspective because I'm not sure your ages, you had a choice between maths and maths literacy. Yeah, I, I could take maths or typing. You know, the, right. under apartheid, we didn't have maths as an option for most of our citizens. So I think that's also a major change in South Africa that now everyone does mathematics, even though it's mathematics literacy, technical maths or pure maths. Mm. So it's a little more complicated than full-on crisis. Maths educators like to say, we're in crisis, we need more money. Right. And I support that. We do need more maths quality passes. And the real concern is we've got, I think it's only, um, I'll have a quick look at my data, mm. but 37% um, of the learners um, in matric this year took mathematics over maths literacy. And that's quite a big drop, six right. percentage points from mm. the year before. So I think we see the effects of COVID, even though we're on this improvement trajectory, our grade nines are improving, our overall quality of passes are improving, but we're getting fewer learners, well, not in absolute numbers, yeah. but in the proportions who are taking mathematics coming, coming through. And, and Prof, with that being said, I mean, what's your view then on the changes in curriculum? Can we attribute this improvement or uh, lack of improvement, depending on where and how you <laughs> see it, whether it's me, Gareth, or, you know, if you pass, perhaps you think hey, there was no crisis for me, um, because we know there was OBE, now there's the National Senior Certificate. Uh, how much can we attribute it to the change in curriculum? So I think the change in curriculum has been good in that it's stabilized things. It's given teachers much more um, direction about exactly what's needed. Mathematics has actually become more difficult. So mm -hmm. when I did mathematics at school, there was no finance, there was no calculus. Our students who wrote maths this year had finance, they had calculus. So maths is actually getting harder. We kind of, as South Africans go, oh, standards are dropping, it's getting easier, that's why the performance is improving. Not so. We've yeah. been looking at the difficulty of the maths papers and they are getting more difficult. So well done to those students who got a quality maths pass and yeah. to their teachers. Absolutely. Do you also think there needs to be a change in perception uh, in terms of how you know, South Africans view mathematics or even pupils view mathematics? I know at times STEM is encouraged, sure. uh, but I suppose attitude towards the subject also plays a key role here in whether or not you pursue it further. Absolutely. And I think um, encouraging students to take mathematics over maths literacy, irrespective of what degree path they're taking. Mm. So I'm sure um, if you had a little more mathematics, you would manage better with graphs when True. you're talking about things. <laughs> so I'm sure you're competent, but yeah. having the maths background just gives you that extra mm. confidence, even as a journalist. Mm -hmm. Now, what concerns me is that I think a lot of students are gaming the access into university entrance. So you see a lot of students who are taking um, you know, tourism or computer um, assisted technology instead of um, taking more difficult subjects like physics. Yeah. And you see students taking uh, maths literacy instead of mathematics. 
Now, the one university I really want to call out here mm -hmm. is that UCT, for the, any of their social science or their Bachelor of Arts courses, um, counts maths at the same level as mathematics literacy. So a student finishing matric with a C in mathematics is getting weighed up against a 90 in maths literacy, and those two are going, well, the maths literacy is better. Right. For me, that student taking psychology, needing to do any stats in social sciences later, it's a disaster. Mm. I get them when they are masters and PhDs, and their maths isn't good enough right. to do any quantitative methods. Yep. So I appeal to UCT to change their policy, because all of those social science and BA students are having their maths and maths literacy compared equally, which means that our bright kids are dropping maths. Right. And also I can imagine how overwhelming it can be for matriculants who did mathematical literacy to get into varsity and find this new level of maths that they're not used to because I remember personally when I took my maths literacy and had to go to psychology at this university, then there were stats. Uh, I was that's, overwhelmed. So that's, that's what you my mean. point. So, yeah. you know, stats when you've done pure mathematics was a core piece of what you were doing. Yeah. You understand the mean, median mode, you know, you can deal with standard deviation. The students who are coming through with maths literacy haven't done any of that kind of thing. And we're expecting them to be quality researchers mm. in psychology, sociology, I mean, education, all of those are arts or social sciences. Um, but you need quantitative methods yeah. um, and the students who drop maths for maths literacy in order to get into university are disadvantaged. Most other universities, I think besides UCT, mm. do give you an extra two points um, for doing maths over maths literacy. Right. It's UCT that has this really weird system. Well, I suppose we have to leave it then. Hopefully the pupils taking on these subjects listen to this conversation and Great, they make better choice when it comes to mess. Thank you so much for your time. My Professor Nicky Roberts, we'll have to leave it there uh, from the University of Johannesburg and uh, talking to us more about, you know, just the insights that come with mathematics and what you can learn, of course, even in your uh, career, how helpful it is uh, to be analytic.